What's going on everybody? My name is Nash aka Zoprak and today we are going to be opening up the first set of Sword and Shield and the last set of Sword and Shield. Now this is obviously not going to be any sort of pack battle for value because Crown Zenith probably has it beaten. We're basically going to do this and see if I can get the Snorlax out of this and one of my chase cards out of this, which I mean there's many out of Crown Zenith. The ones I'm really going for right now are still Entei and Darkrai. Any of the other ones would be fine too, but hopefully we can get the Snorlax out of these eight packs. We are going to start with Sword and Shield since it was the first ever set in the Sword and Shield era, obviously. And yeah, starting out with that Snorlax artwork. I really like well, I guess I don't know if I like these packs because this is literally the second time I've ever opened any of these. Um, we might not stick with the pack trick through the whole thing because that might take too long and I don't want this video to be super long, but we'll see how it goes. That's a sweet Pikachu. I'll set that off to the side for my two-year-old. Energy switch. Ooh, already getting a V. That's not bad. I don't have it because I've never opened any of this, so it's a start. It's better than nothing. I will say that for sure. Um, if you don't know, the reason I'm saving the Pikachus is because my two-year-old is absolutely obsessed with Pikachu right now. Um, it's a little sad that the animes are not going to feature Pikachu anymore. So I don't know how he's going to take that. Also, the word is, is we're going to be not having any more of the online code cards anymore because they're, from what I understand, canceling that and not doing it anymore. Drizzle, Ordinary Rod, Score Bunny, another Pikachu. I'm not going to save that one. He can play with it and mess it up. Inteleon. Oh, I loved him. He was awesome in the show. And nothing, but we'll add that Inteleon to my reverse collection pile. Yeah, most people don't keep reverses, but I'm weird and I'm new, so I do. I keep it reverses just kind of as a cool collectible thing, to be honest. Um... I don't really do anything with them. I don't sleeve them up all crazy or anything like that. I just literally throw them into a binder, which is bad binder behavior according to the Deep Pocket Monster, but they're just reverses. They might be worth something one day. I highly doubt it, but I just think they're kind of cool. I like some of the artworks on them, so I keep them. Like I got an Arcanine the other day in one of my shorts, if you've seen that. It was a little crazy. We didn't get a code card, and then we got two Arcanines for our last cards. We got the reverse, and then the non-hollow. Trippy. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's actually pretty sweet, man. Sword and Shield. I don't know. It might. It's a very slim chance, but it might actually pull this one out. What do you guys think? Drop a comment right now and let me know. You think that we're going to get more hits out of this Sword and Shield? By the way, there's eight packs of each. I was going to do ten packs of each, but... I try to keep these videos somewhat short right now because I don't have a lot of subscribers and I'd like you guys to actually get through it if you're new. Um, I know I'd ask a lot because sometimes it can be boring, but that's a pretty sweet haunter. I like that. I might have to just keep some of these artworks from Sword and Shield, man. Dang. I'm not lying. I, I think I see another one and if we get another V, well, this is what, our fourth pack, I think? No... No chance! We did it! Oh my god. It is definitely off-center, I would say. I don't even care. I'm keeping this card. I can't... <laughs> I really don't even know what to say. I cannot believe we did it. Four packs in. We'll set that one up there so you guys can see it. Let's see. Four packs in. Four packs in and we already got the Snorlax, man. I think Sword and Shield might actually win this for me. If I don't get Entei or Darkrai, those are the ones that I really want for my personal collection. All the other ones, if they're worth any good amount of money, I just sell them so I can buy more stuff like this to do videos with you guys. Uh, I can't believe that. That's definitely going in the thumbnail, so... Let's keep going on Sword and Shield, man. I... I I don't even know what to say because I actually have a couple more packs over there that I was just like, oh, if we don't get it, I'm just going to go ahead and open those. And needless to say, we do not need to open any more Sword and Shield if we don't want to because we already got the chase card I was going after. That Snorlax is so beautiful. We're going to have to take another look at that, man. I cannot believe it. 
Nothing. I don't even care, though. I don't even care. We've already gotten three hits, and that's awesome. That's awesome. Here's another Snorlax artwork. You think we can get it? Can we get two out of eight packs? Could you imagine? What kind of luck would that be? I mean, maybe that's why... Maybe that's why a lot of the cards in this set aren't really worth a lot. Maybe their pull rates on them are just insane because I didn't, didn't expect it. I did not expect to get that Snorlax at all, let alone four packs in. Especially since literally all these cards together, all the packs that I have and the ones I've opened recently, I've only opened 13 packs of Sword and Shield. And then we get the Snorlax reverse to go with it. I'm mind blown, dude. I really am. Did you guys think that was going to happen? Drop a comment. Be honest. Did you really think we were going to pull that Snorlax? Because I didn't. I might even have to grade that bad boy, even though it's definitely... It looks off-center, but it's kind of hard to tell with the alt arts that have all the crazy art on the outside, because... Like, the bottom looks like it's off. But with all the other artwork and stuff, how am I supposed to know? It's definitely off left to right now that I'm looking at it, but I don't know. It'd be cool to just get, do it anyway for my own collection. Maybe it'll get a nine. Maybe not. All right. I'm seeing something back here. Is another one? No, the Storm Jordaner. Not bad. We're getting some good hits. I think we've gotten. So far, we've got one alt art and three full arts out of these. So I would say that's pretty good. Can Crown Zenith beat it though? Because I don't know. I'm pretty excited about that. I can't believe I actually got the Snorlax that I wanted. I really thought I was going to have to buy that thing. And here we are. Not even halfway through the video. Already getting some good pulls in my opinion. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you think they're good pulls. But that's going to end it for Sword and Shield. The original one. Look, let's look at this again. Look at that. Oh my god. Such a nice card. It definitely is looking off center. But again, I don't know how to tell on these. I mean, I can see the fat line right here, so it's definitely off that way. The bottom, the top, I can't really tell. Let's look at the back, see if that'll help. The back actually looks pretty good. This is probably going to get submitted. I'm not going to lie. When I do my first ever grading which I will definitely have on the channel too. This was definitely going to be one that goes in there. We're going to put that in there. And I have a Mewtwo from Crown Zenith that is looking pretty good. <clears throat> and I think that one's going to rise. I, I only think that's one of the cards out of that set that I think after the set's kind of done, people are really going to be looking for it because it's a sweet artwork. And right now I don't really see a lot of people selling it. To be honest, I think a lot of people kept it. Maybe they think the same thing as me. Maybe it's going to be more popular later on. Or maybe they just kept it because they liked the card like I did. Like, I really like the card and I kind of want it to get graded and see if it's good then. And you never know. Maybe on later on down the road, it will be worth more. Will Lord! <laughs> and the Zamazenta VMAX non-full art. I know what I'm going to have to do today, though, because I'm definitely going to have to go get some more top loaders because I'm out. And I got a bunch of these and VMAXs that need to go in them now. So that'll probably be my the rest of my day after this. I'll have to go get some top loaders. Maybe I can find some grading semi rigids local. I'll, I never have any luck with that. Sounds like somebody's right outside my fucking window making a bunch of noise. Sorry for the F-bomb, but... I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but seriously, right outside my window is just a bunch of beating. Grant! Glaring... Is that a glaring gallery? Yeah, it is. Looking good. And a Zacian. We'll add that, too. Well, so far... Again, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna say it. I still think Sword and Shield has won so far. The Galarian Galleries are pretty cool out of this, but we're not getting any of the ones that I want as of now. I don't mind. Whoops. I don't mind the Galarian Galleries, but I want specific ones. 
I don't want to double up on any because I've opened a lot of this already. If you want to see some of those videos, make sure you go back because I already pulled the gold, one of the gold cards. I think that was my most recent video before this one. All right. I'm trying not to get that shine on there, but whoosh, another Rotom. God dang it. I got a bunch of those. And I mean a bunch of those. I think I've pulled four of those out of Crown Zenith already. Man. I can't lie, I'm still a little blown away that I got the Snorlax, like, talk about luck, man, that's all I can say, I got lucky today, can we keep getting lucky though, can we buy, can we get a gold card so I can just sell it to somebody for maybe some older packs, cause that's what I was trying to do. With the last gold card I got, I tried to get some older packs, but nobody really had any older stuff they wanted to get rid of, so I just ended up selling it to get these cards right here. Actually, technically, no. I got some other cards that are over there that are for another video. They didn't actually have any. Luckily, my wife's the one that found the Sword and Shield. I'm not even going to lie. I'm giving her full credit. If it wasn't for her, we would not have this Norlax back here. That beautiful, beautiful card. Because... She randomly went to a dollar store to get my kids some Hot Wheels. Because she promised when she left she would come back with Hot Wheels for them. So she went to the closest dollar store to get some Hot Wheels and found Sword and Shield. And I was like, alright, well, I'm going to go see how much they got left and buy those packs. So I did, and they had 11 all together. And out of 8 of those, we got a Snorlax. Oh my god, I literally have pulled this like 3 times now, man. Seriously, my wife just pulled it last night. <sighs> like, actually, if you don't, in case you don't believe me, let's see. Third card in. Third card in. Here's, let's check out some of these other ones I got recently. There's another Rotom. That's the B star, though. Oh, uh, those are out of the packs. But. Yeah, let's keep going. We haven't really got anything significant, like Sword and Shield 1. I mean, we got three more packs to prove it, but so far in my eyes, Sword and Shield did it. Unless we get something crazy, like the Darkrai or the Entei here. The, the original Sword and Shield gave me what I wanted over Crown Zenith. And I've actually... <laughs> 10 not even 10 packs we went eight packs four in we got the snorlax i've gone through probably so far at least 50 packs of just well more than that because i got a couple of the God dang it i got a couple of the collection boxes that we did a video on too and i'm pretty sure that's what i got gold out of but tell me what the chances are that literally our last two reverses were both the same thing a little bit ironic Come on, give us a pull. We might have to go digging deeper into the Crown Zenith. I never thought this video would go this way. I really thought Crown Zenith was going to make the original Sword and Shield look like garbage. But I don't know. I got my Snorlax. That's all that matters to me. I do love a lot of these artworks, though. That, one, that one's kind of drawing. Zarud! This is literally the worst I've done on... Oops, sorry. Hit the camera. This is literally the worst I've done on Crown Zenith. I can't... I can't even lie. Like, I don't know what to say. We'll do the pack trick. It's the last pack. Maybe. We'll see. I might just grab a couple more and have fun with it. We already got the Snorlax, so I don't really need to save any. Oh, reverse energy and... Oh my... Alright. One sec. Should we do Sword and Shield too? No, let's, let's just do a couple more. Since Crown Zenith wasn't really doing anything, I got a bunch of those still laying around, so... Let's see. I really want to get something good out of Crown Zenith. We can't just get one good card in this video. I mean, we got Grant. We, and 
yeah. We got some other quote-unquote polls, but I have literally all of them except for Grant, I think. And the ones that I got out of Sword and Shield. But we'll save those for some shorts. Maybe open them with my kids since I already got the Snorlax. Man, see, everybody was talking about how Crown Zenith has such high pull rates. Beautiful card, but I already have it. I can't lie, Crown Zenith is really frustrating me right now. Um, I would just like to get a good hit. Like, and, and I'm not saying those aren't good hits. Like, compared to some, well, actually like a lot of the packs that I open, I mean, Fusion Strike and stuff like that that don't have the Glaring Gallery, or Trainer Galleries, whatever you want to call them, that can be more annoying when you don't get anything at all, but... It gets a little bit frustrating when everybody's talking, oh, the prices are going to go down, everything's going to go down, because this is all overprinted. I still haven't pulled a Pikachu, and I've opened six boxes, ETB boxes, and four collection boxes. So I've opened a good amount of packs to not get a Pikachu, or my Darkrai, or Entei, or any of the... Literally, really, any of the chase cards I wanted. Like, I really want the Sukhan... Sukane, what a Suicune, god dang it. There, pronounced it right that time. The Suicune, the Entei, the Dark Cry. Um, I think there's another one that I really actually wanted from my own collection. And I haven't gotten a single one. The Mewtwo we did pull. Well, that's a little bent. I wonder if I did that. The Mewtwo we did end up pulling, which was sweet. But it wasn't really one of my chase cards. Like I liked it. And at first I was just like, ah, I'm gonna sell it. And then the price went down pretty low and I usually only sell cards if they're over a hundred bucks to make it worth me shipping and spending the time trying to sell it. Because, again, I'm not trying to make money. I'm just trying to have fun here. And Crown Zenith is just kicking me while I'm down. I know who won this one. Unless this one has Entei, unless this pack right here has Entei in it. Sword and Shield for the win, baby. Sword and Shield for the win. We ain't even gonna, we're gonna fast roll this bitch. Look at that. And it didn't. We didn't have anything good. Crown Zenith kicked us in the ass today. Okay? That's all we're going to say. And that's the end of it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this content. If you do, please like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'm not going to bag you too, but it really helps me out. I appreciate all my 81 subscribers that have already subscribed to this channel. I... Honestly, never even thought I would get that far. I was just kind of doing this for fun, and apparently you guys actually enjoy it a little bit. So I will continue to do it, and we'll try to keep coming up with new things to do. Obviously, I'm not pokey revving all them people who have massive stockpiles of old cards and stuff. I literally have to go to the store almost every time I do a video to get cards so that I can make videos for you guys. Um, yeah, so watch the shorts, watch the videos, go back, check out some of my old stuff. Either way, hopefully you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.